Lifelines of National Economy. In this part of our syllabus, we are going to see the different means of transport, that is, railways and pipelines. Railways. Railways are the principal mode of transportation for freight and passengers in India. Railways also make it possible to conduct multifarious activities like business, sightseeing, pilgrimage, along with transportation of goods over longer distances. Apart from an important means of transport, the Indian Railways have been a great integrating force for more than 150 years. Railway in India bind the economic life of the country as well as accelerate the development of the industry and agriculture. The Indian Railway have a network of 7031 stations, spread over a route length of 63,221 km, with a fleet of 7,817 locomotives, 5,321 passenger service vehicles, 4,904 other coach vehicles and 2,28,170 wagons as on 31st March 2004. The Indian Railway Network runs on multiple gauge operations extending over 63,221 route kilometer. The Indian Railway is now reorganized into 16 zones. In the hilly terrains of the peninsula region, railway tracks are laid through low hills, gaps or tunnels. The contiguous stretch of Sayadri could be crossed only through gaps or passes, ghats. In recent times, the development of the Konkan Railway along the west coast has facilitated the movement of passengers and goods in this most important economic region of India. Today, the railway have become more important in our national economy than all other means of transport put together. However, Rail transport suffers from certain problems as well. Many passengers travel without tickets. Thefts and damaging of railway properties has not yet stopped completely. People stop the trains, pull the chain unnecessarily and this causes heavy damage to the railway. Pipelines Pipeline transport network is a new arrival of the transportation map of India. In the past, these were used to transport water to cities and industries. Now, now these are used for transporting crude oil, petroleum products and natural gas from oil and natural gas fields to refineries, fertilizer factories and big thermal power plants. Solids can also be transported through a pipeline when converted into slurry. The far inland locations of refineries like Baroni, Mathura, Panipat and gas-based fertilizer plants could be thought of only because of pipelines. Initial cost of laying pipelines is high but subsequent running costs are minimal. It rules out transshipment losses or delays. There are three important networks of pipeline transportation in the country. From oil field in Upper Assam to Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh via Guwahati, Barauni and Allahabad. It has branches from Barauni to Haldia via Rajband, Rajband to Maurigram and Guwahati to Siliguri. From Salaya in Gujarat, to Jalandhar in Punjab via Viramgam, Mathura, Delhi and Sonipat. It has branches to connect Koyali near Vadodara, Gujarat, Chakshu and other places. Gas pipeline from Hazira in Gujarat connects Jagdishpur in Uttar Pradesh via Vijaypur in Madhya Pradesh. It has branches 
to Kota in Rajasthan, Shah Jampur, Babrala and other places in Uttar Pradesh. Summary Railways are the principal mode of transportation for freight and passengers in India. The railways have become more important in our national economy than all other means of transport put together. Pipeline Transport Network is a new arrival on the transportation map of India. In the past, these were used to transport water to cities and industries. The far inland locations of refineries like Barauni, Mathura, Panipat and gas-based fertilizer plants could be thought of only because of pipelines. That's all in this topic. Let us learn about waterways and airways in our next topic.